Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel and another eventing vlog. If you think this is a bit up and downy, I've hurt my foot, so I'm going to walk on tiptoes on one foot. That's just the way things are going today. It's not a big deal, it's fine. Anyway, off to Clanmanech, Clanymanech. Can't say it, the Welsh event that I can never say and people get cross with me when I can't say it right. Warm water here, gonna quickly bath jam. Okay, change into dry clothes. <laughs> guys, guys, I'm really late, but before we get going, so I'm doing another collaboration with Maya Dolores and I'm gonna show you my stock shirt for later, but these breeches, oh my word. How incredible are these? Okay, so they're the Korean performance breeches from Maya Dolores. I am just, Obsessed. I'm trying to like fill myself. Where's the logo? There it is. So they're like this gorgeous dark green color, but look how cute that little gold logo is. Ah! I'm obsessed. The belt is also from them, as is the top. If you would like to order anything, you can use Elphic 15 to get a discount of 15%. If you're following me on Instagram, which you should be, you'd have had the chance to have 25% off. Oh, but that was only for two days, so that's a reason to follow. But I'm honestly, oh, I'm, I'm actually in love with these. I'm seriously, like, it's just all the little details are so gorgeous. And like, you can see like the grippy bits of their logo. In love. Anyway, I really need to plow. I've got like 40 minutes to pack jam up. So let's do that. Okay, against all odds, we've got plaited kind of in time. Tail looks like I've literally not washed it. It's because I didn't do my, my classic double scrub. Normally soap, rinse, soap again. Anyway, here are the plaits. Jam's really angsty, so I'm gonna put a bandage on her and uh, yeah, we'll load her up. Stand anywhere apart from where I need to go. For once, I'm actually the one that's ready and we're waiting on the team members. Okay, we are on our way to Clan Manech. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Shout out to people that are gonna get worried I'm not wearing a belt. I have got the lap belt on in the lorries because I'm currently sat in the middle. Um, because to my left, Ooh, sorry, sorry, I have my nutritionist with me here to uh, help out today. Um, again, they're not too keen on being on the camera, so 
They're just going to go ahead and miles. sit there. Continue straight on. 17 miles, right, we can chat for ages now, Mum. Great. Anyway, we've got Jammy in the back. I don't know how these vlogs have gone out, in what order, because pretty much in every vlog I've been saying that Jammy's qualified for badminton, which is exciting, because I don't know which one's going out first, so you might have already heard that. That might be news to you, who knows? Can't say it too often. Can't say it too often, no, exactly. We're very, very pleased. Um, so following that news, I thought, oh, I need to get her some more experience at B100. She's qualified for B90. However, it's a filthy big track, isn't it? Well, it's a championship course, it's isn't a it? So big it's old, big, big old beefy. When we walked, walked it several years ago when we were taking there, we thought it looked like a it's like an intermediate. <laughs> it's <laughs> awful. So yeah, basically, it's recommended that you get experience at the level above and then you'll still be terrified. So yeah, I thought, oh, better enter in another 100. So that is what we're doing today, B100. We've been here once before with Lara, many a moon ago. There's a video of that. We ended up not running cross country though, because we hadn't had like the best start of the day to the day. So, fingers crossed, today we go cross country. Yay, very exciting. Um, I need to show you guys my really nice stock shirt later, but don't have that on just yet. Anything else to add for the people, uh, Mum? Not right at this moment, but I'm sure I'll think of uh, more nuggets as we go along. Think of some little nuggets of knowledge. Okay guys, bit of a lorry admin here, just doing my numbers. And it's just quite satisfying. I can't work out what the three goes, there we go. Three. And two. You have got to get them equal though, otherwise that's just okay. We slide them across. Hey, my number for the debt. Hey. Also, thank you, Gallop and Glory, for sending me this. myself in how lush is this oh my gosh you get so excited like look at the little v down there mm, okay actually obsessed because i quite like it when a stock shirt is dark underneath like obviously it's white with the jacket's going to show but then it's dark underneath so when you're walking around in just a stock shirt you don't look really see-through makes sense anyway my Dolores guys check it out 15% off if you use code ELFIC15. I'm absolutely gassed with this. Right, I do need to get dressed, but see you in a second. Maybe I'm just too weak. Maybe I'm just afraid of being alone. Well, I don't care, because right now I feel the love that we said we would burn. Oh, I know that you feel it too.
All righty. Off to dressage. <laughs> On my giraffe. Look at my gorgeous gloves. Ooh. Big fan of these. They're very soft. They're lovely, aren't they? Right. Let's go wear this beast out. A different perspective today. I don't usually stand at the other end, the A end. Gosh, it's so bright, I can hardly see her. Three loops serpentine, I believe. I'm going to try and move closer to the centre line because I think you're getting a very distorted perspective from where I was. Don't want to distract the judge though. I missed that transaction, guys, sorry. test where you have to basically counter a circle within a square or maybe the other way around. Who knows? Transition ready. Right, guys, I think we'd, we'd probably are we doing a square or within a circle? I guess it's as good as mine, actually, guys. I don't think there are any glaring mistakes in that. I'm standing sort of facing directly into the sun, so it's very hard to actually see what's going on on the little screen. But uh, we'll catch up with Meg and see what she thought. How was that then? <laughs> Less than about that test, the better. Oh dear. We uh, fell to draw about eight kilometres too early. Oh dear. You didn't want to go into the arena through that little gap, but it was quite narrow between know. the boards. Like really spooked, and then we have the oh. wobbliest centre line ever. Oh dear! She just goes so like on the forehand in the chest. I feel like I can't fix it because she really overreacts. 
So she like, I need to go and do more pure dressage with her. Yeah. Like, to be able to ride her more in there. Yeah. Worry less about the mark. So she literally goes like this, and as soon as you try and bring her up, she's like, yeah. I'm going to canter this. Yeah. So yeah, not very happy with that, but at least it takes the pressure off for the rest of the day. <laughs> Educational run. <laughs> Okie dokie, just off to walk cross country. Um, yeah, not too chuffed about the dressage, not gonna lie. I think Jam just, we just need some more experience going out to uh, competitions and stuff. Um, but Marks were in and she got a 32, which in the section isn't too bad. Like that's, she's sixth in the section at the minute, but there's another person on 32 and there's two people on the same score for fourth. So like, it's not too bad. There's only one sub 30, but you know me guys. <laughs> I always want it to be a sub 30 and want to improve, um, but I know it wasn't my best test, so it's fine. Anyway, I'm gonna walk the course now, and I believe lovely Martha from Martha Lily Photography is out on course somewhere. She's gonna give me some prints from camp because she came and took photos. So we're gonna find her, show you the prints, and obviously show you fences. Put up with changes Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light I wanna be weightless Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by yeah. I just see her face where Okay, so 5A and B, and Martha! Are you here for the 100? Like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm staying here like a weekend, because they're new fences. And they're yeah, they're really nice, aren't they? To do it. <laughs> they're lush. Oh, okay, got a horse coming, Martha's got a kid to action. But look what she's given me. These prints of jammy at camp. Absolutely incredible. So stunning. Martha's going to be popped up on the screen. She is amazing. Look at her go. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town. I've heard of this place where people forget and you get another try. So come open up my door. I don't want to be here and let the world pass me by. A bit mean because you can't actually see our bee fence until we're literally over the ditch. Here's the corner there. But first, we've got to contend this ditch. Just finished course walking. Quite a beefy old track, so this is obviously Jam's second hundred. Um, so yeah, second time at this level. Um, yeah, quite big, and the ground's a little bit firm in places. So I'm gonna go and talk to Hobbs and see how she wants to proceed with the day. Maybe we'll show jump and then see how Jam's feeling. And make a decision as to whether we run cross country. <laughs> Probably just being a wimp because it's massive, but equally don't want to knock our confidence. And also, if the ground's a bit hard, I do need to be precious with her because she's got to go to Bamington next year. So yeah, that's kind of the thought process going on in this little head at the minute, guys. Okie dokie. Cross country walked. Here ready for show jumping now, just change my reins over. Jummy uh, going for a little walk. Oh, and a wee wee. <laughs> you guys probably don't need to see that. Um, yeah, cross country is quite big. Anyway, show jumping first. Fingers crossed. 
Let's go. You go to the No, I think Chabby is cool. She's calling it a day. Oh, is she? Oh no, I need a regroup. Good girl. Good girl. Well done. I think Maggie felt that was a little bit hard and slippy in there. And she didn't want Jamie losing confidence. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Um, wow, I don't even know what to say about that. Jamie went very, very green. I don't know why, she's normally not at all spooky, but I think the way, like, because the ground's a bit hard and, like, the grass has been mown and then just been out baking in the sun while there is there, it's just got on a bit slippy and she would she did, like, a big jump over number one because she was spooking and then I think she felt, like, a little bit slippy. And then, yeah, she just wasn't, like, she was backing off him so much. She had a nightmare through the double, so I was like, right, come back, stopped her, gave her a little pat, tried to build some confidence. And then, oh, she jumped the last lot of fences nicely, like she made the distances in the double and everything. But, yeah, so bizarre how they just suddenly come out really green like that. But one of those things, anyway. Just gonna unpack quickly now and probably withdraw from cross country, which is kind of a blessing because it was huge and I don't, don't really fancy going around it on Jammy if she's feeling a bit green. It's an angry hobbit. <laughs> Not angry, just disappointed. <laughs> that cut a little bit deep. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> honestly. It's just the, it's the way the world works. You qualify for badminton, you're finally like, wow, I'm making my way in the equestrian <laughs> world. And then that happens. Eventing goes, no, no, no. No, you're still rubbish. So you've all seen what happened. We've had our debrief. Dressage in the section, it wasn't, it's, I mean, it was, a very, it was a fair mark for what we did. It was quite, I think she was... Next roundabout, take the second exit onto the A5. I think she was still top 10 after dressage. I want to say top 10 after dressage, which realistically isn't bad considering this section had 40 people in. So I'm not actually, I'm not as bitter about that. Probably because the show jumping then went <laughs> catastrophically wrong. She just went so green and I... I feel like, because I've just watched the video over fence one and she felt really green over fence one, but she doesn't look as bad as she felt, but she felt like she was really kind of second guessing it and just like looking and wasn't concentrating, like she was looking around the arena. And yeah, 
Matt came, no, that didn't come down. Number two came down, and then we had a real sticky go through the double, like, she was really spooky. So she backed up the first one, then like went really high, and then just couldn't make the distance, and then, like, had the fence down, but you know that like the pole like comes with you a bit, so she was a bit like, ooh, like I felt not very happy. So I was like, Whew. pull her back, have a little stop, add a, a bit of zen time, gave her a little pat, I was like, right, come on, Jam, let's just finish this, because Maybe we should have the zen time at the beginning. Need some practice. Just around about, take the second exit onto the A5. Well, I didn't know I needed the zen time. The whole time before was zen, and she felt fine in the warm up. Anyway, we had our zen time. And then she did finish the rest of the course to clear. Like she felt better, but she was still, I was having to be really like, good girl, good girl, like go on. And like talk to her loads and be quite like, I don't know, like very committed, which is normally not how you ride her. Like she normally doesn't like being ridden like that. So it was a bit weird having to suddenly change my riding. Um, so yes, following that, I went and withdrew because it was a very big cross country track. The ground was a little bit firm and because it's just been so hot today and like the grass has been mown, so obviously like where the fences are, um, it's just gotten a bit slippy and I just didn't fancy taking a pony that suddenly felt very green around what would be the biggest track she's ever done and like the ground being a little bit firm and slippy. So we decided to withdraw which means you guys have just sat through half an hour of footage to not even see cross country. So apologies in advance for that. I didn't get to see cross country either. So we're very disappointed, Meg. A lot of beeping. For... <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's just like the highs and lows of venting, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I hate days like this. We get so stroppy after because I keep replaying it in my head and I'm just like. Rrr. Anyway, it's fine. Yep, both fine, that's the main thing. That's not what you said before I started filming. What did I say then? You said you're the worst daughter I've ever had. Oh, they know that. Oh. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm a bit miffed, not gonna lie, but it's fine. Life goes on, we've got lots to work on before Badminton next year. I'm gonna look at events yeah, now and see what else it. I can do. I don't have anything better to do than sit in the lorry for four hours today. Right, so that's why she's annoyed. <laughs> I guess it's gonna be not like I have a life currently anyway. You don't. What would you be doing? <laughs> what would you What would you be doing? No, I could have gone out for lunch or something. You hate going out for lunch. <laughs> I bought you lunch. You basically did go out for lunch. Just far away. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. It's a long trip home. Oh God. <laughs> Live, laugh, love you guys. Sorry about not going to go free. Please come back for the next video. <laughs> All right, bye. See you guys. Bye.